there are steps that we can take as believers to ensure that we are making wise decisions. So if you're ready, then let's go. Good morning and welcome back to Morning Meds where we meditate on God's word in order to tackle everyday issues that we face as Christians. And if you like Morning Meds, be sure to like, share, and subscribe so that we can make it through this together with the help of God. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your word. We thank you for everything that you've done. You are so great and gracious, Lord God. We thank you. We ask you, Lord, to forgive us for the wrong that we've done, said, and thought, and bless every household represented. Allow us to understand and perceive your word the way that you see fit. In Jesus' name we pray. No matter at what point you are in your Christian walk, you will have to make decisions. And nothing gives a believer more anxiety than thinking we're going to somehow let God down. There are steps that we can take as believers to ensure that we're making wise decisions. The first thing we must do is pray for guidance. Proverbs tells us that only a fool will trust only his own thinking. The next thing, get the facts and count the cost. Faith does not override falsities. Get all the information before you act. Taking a leap of faith should always be based on God's doing and not our own doing. We find in Luke where it says, who builds something and doesn't count the cost of it before they build it? Don't allow people to rush you into a decision. Don't be afraid to say no, not right now, or I'll have to get back to you on that. The next thing is ask for advice. Proverbs also says to listen to advice and accept instruction so that you'll be helped in the future. Once you've carried out those first three, it's time to faith your fears. Fear is a natural response to the unknown. Fear is a spirit and it is not God-given. God has given us power, love, and self-control. So once you have clearance from God, it's time to act get busy. Don't let fear overrule your ability to move at God's command. We find in Ecclesiastes where it says, a farmer that waits for good weather will never plant, and a farmer who watches every cloud never harvests. And once you are in motion and in action, finally expect the best, but prepare for the worst. Proverbs 19 and 21 tells us that many are the plans of man, but it is the Lord's plans that will prevail. It would be super foolish to go forward in your Christian walk thinking that nothing will ever go against your plan. These five steps could help you make wiser decisions in your walk with Christ. Don't neglect the power in the word of God to keep us from foolish living. Trust God's plan for your life and take God's leap of faith, knowing that everything, even the bad things, are working for your good. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for all that you've done, Lord God. We ask you, Lord, to allow us to read your word and allow your word and your Holy Spirit to guide us and lead us to make wise decisions. We love you, God. We want to count the cost. We want to get the facts. We want to take action based on your will for our lives and your purpose for our lives. We love you, God. Bless every household represented that is watching. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.